Hello, welcome to Powerhouse Veterans. Today's episode, I'm going to talk about Blaze Economy. This game has been taking off, been getting traction, been getting very hot. So you see what I did? I, um, you just don't get as much trying as you used to. I took $26 and I bought some Tron. I mean, I got 700 Tron, um, but I played the game a little bit. I spent 200 Tron, played the game, but I got 560 left. And I have like some more, at least another 200. Cause I did win, so in my histories. Uh, Why well, I did? I didn't play the the Kings game on here. I played this game right here. I put on minimal 200, and what I did was um, I put it on low. Since at the time it was real low, and it was like 0.87. So I put on low and I rolled a uh, so my I rolled a fifteen so I got one hundred fifty nine k um, points and on this game what you do with the points you get your points and then you can sell it in an exchange uh, right here I get my points but it do expire you don't want your points to expire because you lose all, all that uh, Tron so. If I sell now, I get 248, so I profit 48 trying for that. But I'm trying to wait a little bit to get one and one, and I'm about to go to bed soon too. And I probably wake up after eight hours. I'm gonna sleep in past eight hours, so I'm gonna sell it before I go to sleep. But right now, what's about to go on on the market? They about to do a payout in 16 minutes. So I'm hoping that this rate change, my first time observing it, when it's about to drop. Uh, hopefully the rate goes up once it's changed, once the dividend payout. And another thing on the Kiwi that's this Blaze token, it's it's on fire right now. Like right now you have to pay thirty one for three, but I was told just a minute ago on my Telegram, just wait till after the uh, timer runs out. Just wait after the timer come out, cause. Uh, a lot of people are gonna be selling, I guess, selling they um some blaze. So I'm trying to capitalize on that. Right now I got two blaze. I would like to get a hundred of these. So I might go in tonight. The price. Wow, no, I kind of don't want to get uh go too far from win. So I might try to get fifty of these tonight. Uh, probably drop another fifty dollars and get fifty of these blaze tokens. Um. Let's try to do that because right now I have just two and I'm getting uh 2.3, so that's not bad. Pretty good dividend payout. Uh, accumulated so far, I got 183,000 and it's 168,000 frozen, so we get a little better ratio. Um, a little bit above one one to one, like 1.2, 1.3 ratio right now for the um blaze token per blaze token, like 1.1. Right now, on the dividend payout, so I'm a I'm a I'm a probably buy 25, actually 30 to be on the safe side. Cause I don't want to buy too much. Cause I've been in the other game and I bought in, and the dividend was great. And then a week later, dividend was nowhere to be found. Like I was barely getting, I was getting like zero try, and I was stuck with a big bag of the token. So I don't want to have to have it again from experience because the price had dropped down to uh, real low, like AA token. It was once 34, and then they had that little run where everybody sold, and, and then drip dividends dropped up. And now AA tokens, it's like all the way down at night like two Tron. But this got a little stronger economy in it. Uh, V token, your AOS AA is at two try, so it took a hit. I can show you on the charts too when it, when that happened. Cause it's at three four now. What's how I bought this place when it was four? Uh, let's see, I probably gotta go back another month. But you gonna see the price just skyrocket and then it just drop. It's a while ago, though. It's gonna take a while. 
Okay, here we go. Right around this time of um, March 17th, the AA token was was 32, like just plays it now. And dividend was great. Like it was like three to one every 24 hour, or like five to one for every token you had of these AA tokens. And then like literally less than like two days, it dropped drastically. So if you bought in right here and it dropped all the way down here, you basically got burnt. You if you put a like, I say you put a hundred dollars in and then the market just crashed, like you pretty much lost all your tron. Dividend really wasn't worth it. Because you probably didn't lost like for every hundred tron you bought you bought at this point, A told we bought it at thirty four. When it dipped down all the way down here to eight, for every one token of these you bought, you're pretty much losing twenty tron. So if you bought a hundred of them, you pretty much um, you pretty much lost like two thousand tron overnight, just like that. Probably a little bit more. If you bought a hundred for every hundred you bought of these at uh, thirty three, and it just dropped. Cause then, for uh, you only be able to sell it at nine, so you had a hundred, <laughs> you was only gonna get a uh, thousand. Actually, you gonna get like yeah, like a thousand tron. If you told it like at ten or nine, nine you get nine hundred and ten you would get. On a thousand tron, but then you pay thirty six tron or thirty four tron for it. So, and that 30, 33, um thousand, not thirty thousand, but um, three thousand three hundred for a hundred of these AA tokens. So knowing that, uh, it's not confusing. I but I'm just trying to, from experience, trying to avoid this bubble right here. I'm t but um, just they have better economy. So, if this is only my, my second day in this, so I'm monitoring the dividends. Right now, it has like two solid days since I've been in it. Uh, let's see. It's only my profit or dividend. Not much. So, it's only my second day. They say I have a net profit of 51 Tron. Uh, I probably that because I, uh, yeah, I got that much liquid at the rate probably right now. So, and I did collect a little dividend. I got three last time. So the dividend is going to be actually a little lower today. I got uh, three last time. And it looks like today, the dividends, I'm going to get only 2.3. So it, it did decline a little bit. So I'll probably hold on. I'll probably get like 10, try to get 10 of these. Just so I have nice um, round numbers. So I can do, my, do the math better. On these, on these um, blaze tokens, but should have mentioned I recorded. But in general, I'm I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to uh to buy a hundred. I want to know, you know, I don't want to get burned like the AA token did. Spin uh, spin when and like right now, like thirty four tokens. Should go to my thing. I mean, 3,400 tokens, that's $133. And if it goes all the way down to 10, that's $113, and it goes 10, so you only get 1,000, because the price dropped all the way to 10 for 34 to 10. You only get 1,000. You, you're losing like a night chunk of money, at least like $80, and like, LA, you pretty much lost eighty dollars overnight, so I, I don't want to make that uh, mistake like that. Because uh, dividend can be a little tricky when the users stop playing and stuff. But this game should be more sustainable because it's based off being active and playing the game. The only way you can really earn uh, is by playing the game. So you gotta roll and play the game. So you're gonna lose some time, win sometimes, and. Uh, so far, I won. I got lucky and got a high number.
I got lucky and got a high number. So I'm in a game. Um, basically, I'm going to be rolling these when it gets real high. I'm just paying them. See, I'm not going to play the Kings. The Kings, because it's a little too risky because you bet on this and you lose, you get nothing. You get no try. So that's like, I'd rather get something. Machines, you get like a low, you get a bad number, you at least get some points. On this king, you I don't know if you get points or not by playing this. And if you don't get that many points, actually I, I don't think you get let's see, you might get points. It doesn't show whether or not they got points, they show they got charm. But I don't know if they get points for this, so I'm still learning. Um, I would bet, but I'm not gonna bet on 75. This person saying if I try to try it out, I want to see this team get to 300. So that mean that person been winning a lot. They get 300, then I roll for 100 to try it out. But I'm not gonna try it out now on the 75. Um, I have limited supply trying to to spend. Actually, took 30 dollars pretty much of my own money fiat to come play this game. Um, Blaze economy and I was trying to make that uh, try I got last. So that's just play. That's my move I made today. I got in just play. I'm up 50 trying on just plays. Uh, so far, so good. Hoping to stay in profit. All right, now let's move on to sports wagers. Uh, my matrix betting system. Uh, do the wrong thing. Nah, that's the wrong one too. Took it with my matrix batting system. I'm still at thirteen thirteen eighty one. Uh let's see what happened. Actually I know what happened, but I'm gonna show it. Y'all, what happened on the wagers? I got a, I had a loss on one, and then I got a cancel one, which like uh, negated my profit, trying to get a profit or a loss. So I pretty much got a push today, or I, I, I lost ten cents. Cause I did win one, but I ended up losing one ten on that one, so I lost ten cents today on the major sports betting system. But if this bet would have played in one, I would've been a profit at least. Uh, 90 cents so so far the matrix betting system is working good um three by three matrix the over on a team that's supposed to win by a lot so let's go and say ways you make a bet it's a real simple strategy it's kind of like i want to make it so you just you can pick your team by sight you don't got to do no advanced analytics on your betting you just you have a formula. You go over. You got three teams in it, so you got your sixty-six ch chance of winning. If you hit two out of three, and then the overs. You got this possibility of overtime, so you got the competitive advantage on that when it goes overtime, extra innings, and then the favorite. In my thinking, the favorite probably get a lot of runs, and then maybe you get an upset from the underdog, and they score a lot of runs. So I'm liking like teams with large large spreads that are supposed to win. What I mean by large spreads that are supposed to win is like this minus 192. That means they got to pay double. You got to pay a lot of money for that team to win because they are favored to win that game. But on like one like this, 110, like that pretty much an even matchup. These teams are like equally as strong. Um, so I'm banking on... You would think like equally strong, meaning they can uh they try to score up because they score a run, the other team wants to score a run, <coughs> other team score, other team trying to run. It might try the price up, um, the score up for the baseball, but it also can hurt you because both teams are equally good, got good pitching in this game. Then they both can go no be throwing no hitters and you get locked down. Now the thing where you pick a favorite, a heavy favorite. You pretty much shouldn't get it happens, but you shouldn't have a no hitter because this team is supposed to get some major run score. Um, could that cost me in being a favorite? Like, 
out of these eight runs, this team probably supposed to get five of the eight. So if they really get really hot and just start blasting uh, hits out of the ballpark, they might get 10 runs by themselves. So that's my logic with picking these uh, overs with a team that's heavy favorite. So I'm going to do them. Uh, and I got a good one right here. The low seven. And the lower it is, the easier it is to uh, go over and win. Cause they got to go over that many points. And I'm not going to do like a 10 or a 9 or a 10 because that's kind of hard. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of runs being batted in. So I'm going to go with the lowest number. And that's pretty much all that logic is pretty much the 3x3 three three matrix uh, sport the best system. It take care of yourself. So you just do it by sight until you got to look at the a low number like seven or eight and then look at the team that's heavy favorite in those games and you want to bet on those so it does the work for you so i'll go ahead and make these wager for today eventually i'll put more money in here but i just put thirty dollars on just play so can't really put no more money in um my sports book account so I gotta deal with this for right now but it's all good because we getting live plays in and let's see they're over competitive um we get them we get them in We getting the um, wages in, and we seeing the results of the system right now. So that's what we're doing. And as I get more and more data, more and more results, I'm going to um, bet more and more money because I'm put more and more money in the bet online. And eventually, I'll turn this to the core trading. My goal is to get $1,000 in here and be doing uh, $50 wagers. And then anything over, over I make over $1,000, that, that money will uh, get withdraw daily for that day. And a th good $1,000, uh, a good $1,000 bankroll is, is good to have because, like, when you win, like, you win, like, I'm winning 80 cents, but if I bet $50, um, that would be like $40. So I can do an instant withdraw because on here, um, the cash out, I think it's 25 and and cryptocurrency and that's why I have this part of my cryptocurrency so because they pay out in cryptocurrency so it's all tied together with crypto okay go to cashier and let's see withdraw middle Bitcoin is 20 so okay 20 so if I have, if I go two for one and I have, you probably can't see it here. Go back to wagers. It's not doing it. Yeah, it's not going, it's acting up. It probably bring it to wages pretty well. But in conclusion though, combat in $1, so I'm, so I'm pretty much we went at eighty dollars if I bet a hundred dollar wager. So when I bet fifty, I'm gonna win half of that. So I'm not gonna win eighty dollars. I'm gonna win fifty because I'm betting fifty dollars when I get to that point. And fifty dollars you'll need a good thousand dollar bankroll. And uh when I go two for one, I'll be making uh forty dollar profit and I can just withdraw that at the end of the day. Now if I lose, say if I go one or two. Did I mean I can't redraw that day? I gotta keep playing the system and let the system build back up. Um, the system should build back up because the three by three matrix, all the factors, the overtime and stuff I said before, should make it so you win sixty percent of the time, and that's all you need to win sixty six percent of the time when the spreads are like kind of even, meaning they minus one ten or minus one twenty. You just gotta win. Like fifty six percent of the time is what they do with sports bookies, and it's, uh, professional sports wagers. They try to win fifty six percent of the time on even wagers, 
Um, but I just try to win uh, two out of two out of three, which is sixty six percent of the time. So I try to win at a higher clip than they are. So that's my matrix betting system. Uh, I'm just gonna keep grinding this out. Uh, they discipline, stick to the system, and uh, eventually get this to a thousand dollars and be making forty dollar profit a day. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, that's the sports wager book. And then I'm in just blaze now. Uh, look like they just had a payout. Um, my money came here. Let's take a look at the exchange. Exchange rate is going up a little bit. Going up. That's good. I need to sell before I go to bed. Because you the stuff just expire if you don't sell it. And right now I'm at uh, that amount. So let's go to... Uh, Say hello in here again so I can see my stats. Chapter 51. I'm going to clear my dividends. Clear my two try. Oh, you got to sell all your dividend points before you can collect your try. Wow. But it's all good. I'll probably sell a little bit off show, offline. I'll be up for another hour before I hit the sack. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this. Hopefully go up to one on exchange. And I need to check Kiwi Dex. See if there's more. It's on exchange. No more still not on exchange. So nobody sold yet. So I'm in just play. I'm keeping an eye on the market. The dividend in the dividend pool right now. Dividend pool has been steady. So since everything been steady, I'm gonna steadily buy more and more blades as time goes on. But I do have $25 in and in, in trying, so I'm gonna plan just plays. Uh, I'm putting my lead down below so you can get started in just plays. Good game, doubt game. And uh, try to make your better system now. You don't need a whole lot of money. You can start with uh, twenty five dollars. Okay, you, you go to uh, you go to five dollars, or you go to uh, bet online. And uh, minimal time is the positive twenty five dollars. So don't cost that much. You can have some fun with sports wagers, enjoy the games, and win money at the same time. All right, that's it for Powerhouse Investor. That's my move to live off cryptocurrency through my strategies. And pass the income plans. See you next episode with more moves I'll be making to treat my dreams of living off cryptocurrency. Peace.